Western Australia is Australia's largest state and I'm told it's best kept secret. I'm in its vibrant capital and sunniest city, Perth. The starting point of my Western Australian adventure. From here, I'll be heading down to the world famous Margaret River wine region. Join me as I get to know some of Western Australia's most special places and its people. Perth outshines the rest of Australia. It basks in more than 3,000 hours of sunshine every year. No wonder it's in the top 10 most livable places in the world. Of course, we British love our weather, but the fact that 150,000 Brits come to visit Perth every year means it must be a pretty good place for me to start my Western Australian adventure. Elizabeth Quay is a new development in the centre of Perth and has brought the Swan River, the reason settlers came here in the first place, back into the heart of the city. Thousands of years before the colonists started building Perth in 1829, this was home to the Aboriginal Nyunga people. Walter Maguire is an Aboriginal elder. Julia, my name is Walter Maguire. My Nyunga name is Jinninye, means morning star. I'm glad to see you here today in, the, in my land, the land of the Nyunga Wedjuk people. Thank you very much, Walter. Perth has been Australia's fastest growing city for 10 years. And that's coincided with an explosion in its food scene. Hundreds of small restaurants and bars have opened up, many in some of the city's gorgeous heritage buildings. Perth has more cafes per capita than any other city in Australia. In recent years, blank walls have been transformed by local and international street artists funded by a city keen to encourage a vibrant and progressive scene. And it's not just the streets that have become canvases. For two and a half weeks every year, Cottesloe Beach is transformed into an outdoor exhibition. There's also a movement here to preserve some of the city's many heritage buildings. The state buildings were the former home of the iconic lands, titles and treasury offices and have been beautifully restored. They're now a lively hub in the centre of the city where you can get some of the best of WA's produce, wine and craft beer and luxury six-star accommodation. More than 10% of Perthites were born in the UK. Sue Lewis is one of them. Oh, that just looks like heaven. <laughs> How did you end up here in Perth? <laughs> I just love Perth. I came to visit some friends here about 10 years ago and I just loved it. Um, it's a great part of the world. Um, you know, we've got... Wonderful weather, of course, uh, and most amazing beaches. I started out my business at farmer's markets, and uh, we do have a great food culture. I'm having dinner with a British chef who's made her home and her career in Perth. What is it about Perth? Every Brit that I've met just came on holiday and <laughs> never went home. <laughs> Same for you. Pretty much working holiday. One year I was going to be here, and it's nine and a half Thank years you. later. Such great colours. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Well, here's an example of lots of um, fresh local West Australian produce. So what I love about cooking in West Australia is the awesome produce. Um, I love the native produce, being able to use things like the lemon myrtle and um, pepperberry and peppermint and things like that. So it's just this carousel of food for you, chefs. Yes, yeah. yeah. So do you think per Perth is up there as a foodie capital? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> you would say that. You're almost, you said that with a very Australian accent yeah, for a yeah. girl from Cornwall. <laughs> You've turned, we've lost you. Perth is no ordinary capital city. At first glance, it's a laid-back beach city, but it has much more to offer. It's buzzing and modern and really at the top of its game when it comes to food, arts and entertainment. And what a cityscape. It's just fantastic, a truly seductive place to explore.